Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today I want to talk about entrepreneurship and I want to tell you guys the story of why I became an entrepreneur. As of the making of this video, I'm about 33 years old. I grew up in an era in the 80s and 90s where entrepreneurship wasn't something that was glorified, something that was rarely talked about. But as an 80s kid who grew up watching DuckTales, watching Scrooge McDuck as my actual childhood hero and mentor from afar, I think there was a part of me that always knew that I wanted to run my own business and that I wanted financial freedom, that I wanted to travel the world, and that I wanted to be able to make a real difference and impact somehow in people's lives. And there were a lot of ideas I might have had about what would make that possible, what would make that a reality. And I didn't necessarily think that the path that I'm on would be the answer because most of what has let me be successful today didn't exist in the 90s or in the 80s. The internet being an example, or rather the modern internet. Believe it or not, I think that my success as an entrepreneur in many ways comes from a dark place with a light at the end of the tunnel in the form of a positive outcome. I became an entrepreneur because what was unsatisfying about being an employee is the fact that I never felt like I had a sense of ownership over my work or my ideas. Uh, so I had no control there. I had no control over my time. I spent time and energy on what somebody dictated I had to spend time and energy on. Whether I thought it was valid or not, whether I, I thought it was the right thing, it didn't matter. That's what the job is. I didn't have creative control, I didn't have creative freedom uh, in many cases. I also didn't have the freedom to voice my opinion or my views on something if they were dissenting an opinion. Uh, when you're in corporate America, oftentimes the job and your success is predicated on appeasing uh, the people above you in the form of your uh, supervisors, your managers, your bosses. Um, being a middle manager is rough because you're, you're literally stuck in the middle. So there were a lot of things that were dissatisfying there in terms of feeling no sense of control. And then uh, the average salary in America, it, it sounds great for everyone else in the rest of the world. And I'm very well aware of the 1.1 billion people who have to live on a dollar a day. So again, I know that I won the lottery being born in the United States of America in the greatest age of entrepreneurship in all time. You know, So like, I get that, I don't take it for granted. With that being said, the median income salary in America is about $40,000. And while that may not put you at the poverty line, people don't take into account that the cost of living just keeps getting higher and higher. And we can talk a lot of rhetoric about living within your means, but it's a lot more challenging than anybody you know thinks. And saving money isn't enough to keep you from eventually being broke. So in addition to feeling a lack of control in every other aspect of my life, I also didn't feel like I had control over my income, how much money I could make in proportion to my effort. I didn't feel any sense of financial freedom. This took me to a dark place. When you don't feel in control of your life, you're more susceptible to a down spiral in depression than anything else, I think. Aside from chemical imbalances and things of that nature, and those are real, you know, you're just being in a life circumstances where you feel completely devoid of any control over anything can really poison your mind. And that's a place that I got to, and it was very hard to claw my way out of it. In fact, I don't think I did. I think I hit emotional rock bottom. I was thinking of ending my life. And then I decided that I could imagine a version of my life where I would be happy. And I decided that I was willing to do the work that it takes to bridge the gap between the reality that I was in and the reality that I would prefer. I decided that there was a thread of work that was separating those things, and I decided to commit to doing that work. To accomplish that, I committed to being a freelancer, and so I did gigs, and I did everything I could to make money online, and eventually I moved from being a freelancer to developing and fleshing out a real practical business, and I grew and I grew and I grew in proportion to my work. I finally could have ownership over my ideas. I finally could build out the personal brand that represents me accurately and shows off my skills and a body of work that I'm proud of, connect with people, build my network. I now had more time. I could learn new skills and new things. I could evolve, I could grow, I could travel, I could go to conferences, I could learn from the smartest people in the world. And again, I, it was a, a period of time 
that really made a difference of being able to commit that time and my energy into things that I could see progress of that would move the needle. I was no longer arbitrarily throwing eight hours at something and knowing that I'm only getting X amount of dollars out of it. I can now throw a certain amount of time at something and see a difference it would make in my own life and see what it could actually produce and know that was something that I wanted and something that I had a vision for and I could charge whatever I felt was appropriate for it. And so that is what made the difference in my life. And that's how I decided to become an entrepreneur. It wasn't something where I literally decided overnight. It's something that I had to make a genuine commitment to and it took time. Um, and so I would encourage you that if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, if, if you are thinking about building a business, you have to think about what is your why? What drives you? And so in my business, I have an underlying philosophy that you may have heard. It's create something awesome today. I wanted to make sure that every single day that I was investing time in a worthy goal, a worthy outcome, because time is the thing you don't get back. And I felt for many years that a lot of times my time was squandered or wasted in things that were pointless or busy work or didn't produce real value for people but only extracted value from them. And so those things didn't feel good. They didn't feel comfortable. They didn't feel authentic. They didn't feel right. So I built a business around the concept of creating something that's worthy of me and worthy of my time and my energy and my effort and my creativity every single day so that I could be proud of the work that I'm doing and so that I feel like it could make any kind of difference or impact or accomplish a goal, um, whether that's helping someone else grow their business, whether it's helping someone else present more clearly, helping someone else uh, communicate their vision. So those are the things that mattered to me. And I built my business with that in mind. So now you understand why I became an entrepreneur. You understand that I had something inside of me and it was there the whole time, but I didn't necessarily know how to commit to it or didn't have something that was strong enough in terms of a motivating factor to make me make that commitment. And ultimately it came from a dark place. It came from having to really get to a point to where I had to put up or shut up. It was a binary decision. Uh, and I'm so glad that I was on the right side of that choice. Uh, the alternative was nothing. You know, the alternative was literally nothingness. So um, I think that you have to understand who you are in terms of self-awareness. It gets thrown around so much, but the reason that I'm here today and the reason that I'm successful is because I was self-aware enough to know not only that there is something out there that would make me happy, that would make me satisfied that I could do, and that I also was self-aware enough to believe that I had the skills and the discipline required to do the work to see that outcome through. I wouldn't be successful without that. I wouldn't be alive without that self-awareness. And that's why when people like myself or like Gary Vaynerchuk talk about self-awareness, it's not a buzzword. It's something that really is important and will make all the difference in your life. It might save your life. And, and it, I mean, forget growing your business. This will grow you as a human being and it will possibly make an impact in not only how you treat other people, but how you treat yourself and whether you give yourself a real chance and a real shot at being successful at any endeavor. Anyway, I know this video is a little different. Um, if you are uh, someone who is striving to become an entrepreneur, I'd love to hear what it is you're trying to accomplish. What is it you're trying to build? Let me know in the comment section. Also, the thing that I have to stress is uh, when I was building myself as an entrepreneur, I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have a guru. I didn't have a Yoda. I didn't have anybody to take me by the hand and to like walk me through any of this. And I feel like that might have made a difference. The other thing I didn't have is I didn't have a group of peers that I could talk to about my journey and that I could ask questions or that I could bounce ideas off of or that I could even show something I was working on and get some feedback. I feel like if I had had those things that my entrepreneur journey would have won, it would have accelerated dramatically faster. And I also feel like it would have made all the difference in the world in terms of being able to maintain a positive mindset. And I feel like it would have grown faster and I feel like I would have gotten a lot further. So one of the things that I did within my business was I created awesomecreatoracademy.com. AwesomeCreatorAcademy.com is my online education platform. I have courses and I have templates and I have things of that nature, but I also have a group mentoring program that you can join. 
So if you decide that that's something that you want to invest in and you want to get a subscription, you can go to awesomecreatoracademy.com. I'm going to link it in the info card. I'm going to link it down below for you guys so you can check that out. It may not be for everybody, but I thought that, you know, it'd be nice to know that if that's something you're looking for, that it's available out there and that there are people who want to help you and want to grow with you. So if you want to join us in that community, I would definitely love to have you there. We've helped grow over a hundred online professionals. So I think that we can help you too. In general, I always just make the things that I would want for me. And then I just assume that there are other people that want them and it tends to work out pretty well. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today. Take care.